2022 would be the 40th anniversary of the 1982 Falklands War. I don't normally do reunions, commemorations, etc. But I also feel that this event is actually different. It has affected me directly and will offer me a physical activity in which to commemorate as opposed to a church service or a parade. I'm not saying that I disagree with religious or formal commemorations, but this activity seems more fitting for me rather than the aforementioned activities. Believe me when I say I do not need any event to remember what happened 40 years ago. I daily remember vividly what happened, some of which I would rather forget. So yes, 40 years ago, age 20, I was amongst those soldiers who marched down the hill from Bruneval Barracks and sailed off on the MV Norland 6,000 miles to the Falkland Islands, and in doing so I have become a Falklands veteran. 40 years on, and now age 60, I still like to keep myself fit. Triathlon is my poison, I regularly swim, bike and run, and I've recently qualified for the Ironman World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. Gus Hales has carefully planned an eight day ride around the country to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War, visiting related places and memorials. The plan is to have a core group of about 20 riders split into two groups of 10 and to be joined each day with anyone who wishes to ride with us, either for the whole of the day, part of the day or just to support us. Although it would be possible to average a high speed, the speed of the group will be kept intentionally low to encourage others to join in. The average daily mileage will be between about 64 to 100 kilometres or 40 to 60 miles. Clearly, if you're a Falklands veteran, then that's good, but this isn't essential. It is planned that the ride won't just be to put the miles in, but a series of events will take place along the route. This video depicts the provisional outline route. It is hoped to liaise with regimental associations for standard standards, bugulars, attendance at venues. We are meeting up in Cardiff on Saturday the 4th of June. Departure day is Sunday the 5th of June. Day 1, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Ride. Today we commemorate the war at sea, the landings and from the sea freedom. So, today we commemorate the seaborne operations and the landings. We set out on the day before the 78th D-Day 6th of June anniversary. We remember World War II and Falklands naval and amphibious operations. There can be no more fitting place to begin our remembrance ride than the Welsh coastal city of Cardiff. HMS Cardiff served in the Falklands War where she shot down the last Argentinian aircraft of the conflict and accepted the surrender of a 700 strong garrison in the settlement of Port Howard. In addition, Cardiff is the county city of Glamorgan and in the spring and early summer of 1982 HMS Glamorgan was involved in the Falklands War in which she engaged Argentinian land forces and protected shipping. In the last days of the war, Argentinian naval technicians fired a land-based MM-38 Exocet missile which struck the ship causing damage and killing 14 of her company. We'll be remembering those who died from the Royal and the Merchant Navy and other seagoing vessels including the Sir Galahad who when bombed suffered 48 dead and many injured, mainly Welsh Guardsmen. Her only grave is the ocean. So, on Sunday the 5th of June 2022, we'll depart Cardiff Castle for the Falklands War Memorial, where we will lay wreaths, we'll have guest speakers from Salma, the Welsh Guards Association, the Parachute Regiment Association, HMS Cardiff Association, HMS Glamorgan Association, the Royal Engineers Association, other regimental associations, a, a male voice choir, and the Royal British Legion. We depart for Brecon. Day 2, Monday the 6th of June. This day we'll be commemorating the land battles. It has often been said the land battles of the Falklands campaign were won in the Brecon Beacons. Today we pay tribute in Brecon to those land operations fought so far away from home, with skills honed in this area, whose landscape scape much resembles the barren hills of the Falkland Islands. We also remember the anniversary of D-Day, the 6th of June 1944, and the end for German-occupied Europe. We also visit 
the Brecon Peace Gardens, the Falklands War Memorial. We lay a wreath and we also are going to visit Daring Lines. We hope to have representatives from the PRAs, the regimental associations, the MP, the Mayor. We hope there'll be Gurkha traditional dancers with a curry etc. Guest speakers, a bugler and a piper for the last post. Day 3, Tuesday the 7th of June. Today we'll be commemorating moving into position. Once the landings had taken place, it became a task of moving the right units into the right position. During this phase, a Sea King helicopter crashed into the ocean, killing 20 members of the SAS. Today we remember those who lost their lives in these and other incidents. We also remember the other documented SAS operations on the Fortuna Glacier and the Pebble Island Raid. So today we'll be visiting the St Martin's Cemetery and the Falklands Plot. We'll lay a wreath, we'll have representatives from regimental associations, we hope to have a bugler, a piper, etc. And we hope the 22 SAS standards will be on parade. We hope the AFA standards will also be there before we move on to Cosford. Day four. Day four, we'll be commemorating the war in the air. Today we remember the air campaign and the airmen and air crews of both the Falklands War and the tireless air support during the last 40 years. Harriers, Vulcans, helicopters and a vast array of aircraft played a pivotal role in securing air superiority within the exclusion zone. Without air superiority, the Falkland Islands would not have been able to be recovered. We will be remembering on this day in 1982, the LSL Sir Galahad was hit by two or three bombs and set alight. A total of 48 soldiers and crewmen were killed in the explosions and subsequent fire. The majority were Welsh Guardsmen. So, on Wednesday the 8th of June 2022, we'll be in Aldersley, near Wolverhampton, in the Velodrome. This, will be, this events day will be called the Falklands 40 laps for 40 years. We hope there will be representatives from the regimental associations, local cycle groups, schools, Vintage Cycle Club UK and we are encouraging those who don't feel comfortable with road riding to join us in the relative safety of the velodrome. These could be hand cyclists, tandem cyclists, blind veterans from the UK and members of the RAF. We depart Aldersley for Ruggedly, Ruggedly. Day 5, Thursday the 9th of June, today we will be commemorating Combined Forces. At the National Memorial Arboretum we will remember the Combined British Forces who took part in the campaign Op Corporate to liberate the Falkland Islands from the Argentinian occupation and to restore sovereignty and self-determination to the people of the islands. At the Arboretum we will lay a wreath and pay our respects to those still on patrol before moving on to Meriden. Day 6, 
On day six, we commemorate the cyclists of two world wars. Today, we remember all those cyclists killed in two world wars and subsequent wars. The first British death of World War I, Private John Parr, was killed on the 21st of August 1914, whilst on patrol on the outskirts of Mons, Belgium. He was a reconnaissance cyclist in the 4th Battalion of the Middlesex Regiment. We then move on to the Falklands Arms Public House, Great True, for a celebratory beer and to commemorate the Argentinian surrender. During this stage, we would have reached the 255 mile point where we will stop and remember with a short ceremony the 255 British military and civilians killed in the campaign. Day 7 will be known as No Words Needed, The Silent Ride. Out of respect for the fallen and the continuing loss to both families and combatants, today, with safety in mind, we will ride in silence and quiet reflection. For all those that still suffer through combat, there will be no events arranged for this day. Seven Argentines died at Goose Green. 17 British personnel lost their lives. They were laid to rest close to where they fell. Lieutenant Colonel Jones, Captain Wood, Captain James. Day 8, Sunday the 12th of June. This day will be known as Remembering. This is the final leg of our journey and sees us cycling from our overnight stop to the Falkland Islands Chapel in Pangbourne. We will gather at the chapel, Cairn, pre the Falkland Islands Service of Remembrance. We will then undertake a short service of blessing before departing for Aldershot and the statue of the airborne soldier. We count the cost of the fallen and visit the graves of some who gave their all, whose lives were cut short, some as young as 17. So, on Sunday the 12th of uh, June, we depart streetly on Thames for the Falkland Islands Memorial Chapel, Pangbourne, near Reading. The annual Falklands Memorial Service is at 1200 hours, and we lay a wreath before departing for Aldershot and arrive at the airborne statue and then on to the Aldershot Military Cemetery and visit the Falkland Graves. Here there will be a service, we'll have guest speakers, a lone piper, a bugler and we'll lay wreaths. At the end of the ride we hope that many cyclists and veterans and cycle groups will join us on this leg for the 30 miles from Pangbourne into Aldershot. If you're a member of a cycling group and you'd like to join us, please get in touch. <laughs>